A zone is a collection of speakers to reach a group of people in a specific area without disturbing other groups. Let's look at this manufacturing facility as an example. There are three specific areas within this building that we want to separate from each other when making pages or announcements. The office area, which we'll call Zone 1, the manufacturing area, which we'll call Zone 2, and the shipping area, which we'll call Zone 3. By setting up our paging system accordingly, we can dial 1 to make a page or announcement that will only be broadcast over the speakers in Zone 1, which are the offices. This won't disturb the people working in Zone 2 or 3 because the audio will not be broadcast over the speakers in those zones. The same holds true if we dial 2 to reach Zone 2, or if we dial 3 to reach Zone 3. We can also set up our system to reach all the speakers in all the zones simultaneously. This is called All Call. Let's take a brief look at how this is accomplished using different technologies that we've learned about in Part 1 of this series. In an analog paging system, speakers are wired together in series to separate and different circuits of a page control unit. Each circuit comprises a separate zone. This prevents audio that is sent to the speakers in Zone 1 from being heard in Zones 2 or 3. When using All Call, audio is sent to all circuits simultaneously. In an IP paging system, each speaker is individually attached to a network switch, not to each other like they are in an analog system. Zones are set up through programming, not separate circuits. The end result is still the same. Pages and announcements can be made to a group of speakers without being sent to other groups. But as you can imagine, since each IP speaker can be programmed individually, the flexibility of how your zones are set up is much greater than it is in an analog system. It is possible to use analog and IP technology together. This is known as hybrid. We'll learn more about that later on in the System Design Training Module.